Okay, so today we're going to be creating a wound healing effect in After Effects. So you can see over here I have um, the wound and um, it will disappear from my actor's head and uh, we are going to create this effect now. So if we go into our tutorial composition, I've just got some footage of my actor seemingly dead and then wakes up. And um, the first step is to track this. So we need to go into our track panel down here. If you don't have that, then uh, you need to go into window and it'll be unticked and if you just click that it'll appear down here and then you can click track motion and then we get this little tracker point here and i'm just going to position this on the end of my actor's eye and we'll make that a bit smaller and uh, we'll make that a bit smaller as well and what we want to do is track the position rotation and scale because uh, the camera moves a little bit around and uh, in and out. So we're going to click both of those, which gives us a second tracking point, which we can just make a bit bigger to help us work with it. And then we just want to put that down there. And then if we click play, it'll go through our whole scene, analyzing it and working out all the different movements. So um, you can see here we had a bit of a um, muck up. So I'm going to go back through the frames so we can see here it's good. So here's where we start to sort of lose it a bit. And then we're going to go forward with the actual tracker. This bit's still OK. And now we have a pretty accurate hold on it again. So I'm going to click play. And oh, we lost it again on this one. So we'll go back until where it was correct. Okay, so there's where we lost it, and we'll just move it back there, and then we can click play again. And basically what this does is it will go through a whole scene and generate a point where all of our stuff can be aligned to. So if we now right-click New Null Object, we can go Edit Target, and make sure we've got the null selected, click OK, and then click Apply X and Y. And this will make a load of keyframes following the exact position of our um, footage. So I've now got an image of a wound. You can see here, it's kind of gross. And we're going to composite this into our scene. So I'm going to hit S to scale it up a bit and uh, rotate it. And um, I also want to draw like a sort of rough mask around it like so and basically what this is going to do is we can feather it out and then get a softer edge of our cut so if we hit f and then we can sort of smoothen that out to like 50 and we can hit mm to change the expansion so that looks a lot nicer take that down slightly until it starts fading at the edges maybe let's go for like 20. So that just gives it a little tiny bit of blur on the edges, which makes it fit in the scene a bit better. So another thing we might want to do is add hue and saturation, which is there. And uh, I'm going to go into the reds and I'm going to saturate them a bit more. Maybe actually not. And we also want to darken them just to make it look a bit more realistic. And I'll also add curves and a curves adjustment. And uh, we can put that on there. And I just want to brighten it a tiny bit, maybe, especially in the highlights. And that looks a bit better now. Hit S again. I want to scale it up, make it a bit bigger. And then I'm going to grab the whip and attach it to my null. So now it will follow my uh, scene. And just to make it more realistic, if it was actually in the scene, it would have motion blur like all the other objects. So if I click this little button here and this button here, that'll activate motion blur for our scene and it'll blend in a lot nicer. So we can close these two effects now. So what I want to do is grab our masking tool and with nothing selected, I'm just going to draw like a circle around our uh, wound. 
And I'll make it go into fill and I can make this white so we can use it as a luma mat. And uh, then I'm going to apply a few effects to it. So the first one that I want to apply is turbulent um, displace. And this is basically just to get sort of, if we take the size down, this will create a sort of roughened circle which doesn't look very uniform. And then we can search the effect called roughen edges. And this will basically just create a really weird and jagged effect if we just play around with some of the things in here. It looks a lot less natural now. And we can turn up the complexity maybe to create some finer details. I think I'm just going to take up the that a bit more and maybe a tiny bit more turbulence. Not so we get extra blobs though, we don't want that. And I'll change the complexity down to three because uh, we don't want that. And we can play around with the scale as well. So uh, I think that looks quite good. And then finally, I'm going to go with the box blur because that's simple. So we can just make sure we've got horizontal and vertical and we can just blur it out just by like maybe two pixels. Okay, so now we've got that. Um, the anchor point isn't centered. So I'm going to click this tool up here in our toolbar and I can just move that roughly to where the center is so when we scale it, it doesn't flop around everywhere. So I will also whip this onto my null object and apply motion blur so that'll make it feel more natural. And uh, I can see here that we've got some evolution and um, it's changing a bit which uh, looks uh, good so I'm actually going to leave it in this case. So what we can do is um, hit S for scale and we're going to turn the scale here to zero and we'll hit a keyframe. And then I'm going to move to like when the eyes are open and we'll move this to until it's covered the entire thing. So there. And now it becomes a massive glowing blob of white. So if we just create like a sort of quick render of give us an idea of what it's going to look like, you can see it's moving around and sort of consuming the whole wound. So I'm happy with the way that looks so far. So what I'm going to do is hide that layer, select our wound and go to track mat. And we're going to go with um, alpha inverted mat or luma inverted, no luma mat. So I'm going to pick alpha inverted mat because that's easier. And then you can see where our object is. It's making the wound disappear. So uh, that's pretty cool. And actually, I think I'm going to add a tiny bit more blur just to smoothen it out like four. So if we just create a quick preview of this, you can see it's growing and just eating at the wound, which isn't greatly tracked on, but uh, still looks pretty good in our scene. And uh, it's now completely disappearing because of the track map. And since the way we uh, positioned it, when he opens his eyes, it's pretty much exactly gone. And uh, that looks a lot cooler. Plus, it's when the tracker gets the most mucked up. So that makes it be gone and not really need to worry about. So I'm going to go to when it is completely gone, which is there. And then I can just click Control Shift D, which will um, sort of cut it in half. And then we can hit Delete on the top layer. And that'll basically just get rid of it. So, um, yeah. And we can do that the same thing with our shape layer and hit delete. So um, that's the cut wound effect. Obviously here's a more um, worked on example and you could probably do some playing around to make it composite better in the scene but this was mainly to demonstrate the getting rid of it. So that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed make sure to leave a like but uh, that's all. See you next week.